Pie all fat and the air. Right, look at that booty. One and a half kilos of top rump. 11.99. I am gonna make a beef steak and a pie cooked with Maccasin bear. Or Maccasin steak. Well, we've got the family coming around today. That's been requested, so let's get busy and uh, give it a go. Right, and here it is. So what I'm gonna do with this, I'm gonna cut this into little chunks. Um, and what we're gonna do is cook this off in a pan first, get it all nice and browned, then I'm gonna transfer it into the slow cooker with the with the mackers and stove and the stock and everything else. Let it nicely slow cook for a few hours. Then we're gonna get it into a, um, a, a pie dish with the pastry and everything. Um, yeah, and uh, go for it. So, uh, as I say, what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut this off into nice chunks for the pie. Beautiful. Got a lovely little sort of bit of marbling through there as well. Right, I'll get on with this and uh, I'll come back to you when this is done. Right, we're just uh, just finishing up here. Um, absolutely gorgeous. The, the, the meat looks really lovely. It's cut like butter, to be quite honest. Um, no effort at all. Absolutely gorgeous. Right, that's the meat done. Am I going to get this in a pan? Right, got the old pan out. Got the old trusty rusty out. So I'm just going to just gently fry this stuff off and uh, get this all browned off. And then we can get this into the slow cooker and we'll go from there. Right, let me sort this and I'll come back to it. Right, that's the uh, beef cooked off. So next thing I'm going to do now, keep this pan on, keep the oils and the juices in it. And I'm just going to fry off some onion and a couple of little cloves of chopped garlic like so right what I'll do I'll get this done and I'll come back to you when these are cooked right that's the onion onion and garlic um just browned off next thing you know we're gonna get this transfer into the slow cooker right onions and garlic Gonna go into the slow cooker. All that goodness out of there is scraped out. Get them in there. And then we transfer the meat and all the juices in. What's been cooked. Cool wow. Right, that's all in. Right, next thing to go in is a couple of boxel cubes, like so. And then we're gonna have one teaspoonful of thyme. Now, just a little level teaspoonful I don't want to overdo this because that can get overpowering. So a little teaspoonful of thyme in there. Then we're going to get the old Henderson Strong Northern Relish. And we're going to add somewhere around about a teaspoonful and a half. And then drop a dark soy sauce. About a teaspoon and then a good old Maccas and Stout. I'm going to use a 330ml can. Like so. Get that all in there. And last but not least. We're going to top this up now 
with boiling water. Now I'm going to go right up with it. So I'm going to make the gravy out of this to go in the pie and um, to go on the potatoes and everything we're going to have with it. And that is it. Now we'll just get a spoon and give that a stir. One thing I did forget was the black pepper before we stir it in. One probably round, round about a teaspoonful will do for that. Then we give it a stir and get everything mixed in like so. And I'm going to leave this for four or five hours now on a nice low heat until tender. And then what we'll do, we'll come back to it um, when we're ready and uh, we'll get the pastry out and uh, get a lovely pie going. Right, catch you in a bit. Right, while the old uh, meat is going to slow cook, I'm going to get a bit of butter and I'm just going to rub this bit of butter just around this dish. Um, I'm going to just get the base or the short crust pastry, uh, pastry in and uh, just going to blind bake it so it'll be ready for when the meat is done. Um, you can do this with butter, you can do this with lard. I ain't got any lard, I've actually ran out of it. So, uh, yeah. Just uh, give it a good rub around, really. Get the edges. Just just helps it not to stick. Right, let's get the pastry out. Right, we've got the old short short crust pastry in a roll. You know, I was going to make my own, actually, and have a, have a crack at it. And that I have done in the past, but you know what? I thought to myself, you know, I just can't be bothered doing it the lazy way. Right. So what we're going to do with this now is just get this dish I buttered up like so and just lay this pastry in it. Actually what I might do actually is just roll that a little bit one sec just to make that slightly bigger. So we just roll this just not too much. I just want to make it so that it fits in the in the bottom, I know the lid will be fine. We're using the old puff pastry for the lid, but um, yeah, right. That hopefully now should fit in there with these. End up breaking up. Right, let me get this in. I'll bring it back in a sec. Right, that's the base in there. I'll probably end up shrinking back anyway. Right, let's get a fork and prick some oils in it. Right, so let's round that. All I'm just going to do, find some holes in the base. Open the out. And we'll get this in the oven. Blind bake up. So we know the bottom will be cooked. And then uh, when we're ready, we'll get the Get all the nice beef steak in there and uh, go from there. Right, I'll come back to you when we're ready for that. Right, I'm back. Right, this has been blind baked in the oven. And I've had this now going for a oh, wow, a good five hours. All this lovely beef. So what I'm going to do now is start transferring this out of the slow cooker into the pie. This absolutely smells delicious, this do. Really do at the moment, I can't wait for this. Right, let me get on with this. Right, that is all the beef taken out of this, this um, slow cooker now. So, um, right, the next thing we're gonna do is thicken this gravy in this slow cooker. Right, I'm gonna use quick soup for this. You can use best of gravy granules, you can thicken it with corn flour, water, flour on water, however you wanna do it. I'm using um, quick soup gravy granules and um, I get a load of these in here, start stirring this and getting this thick. Then I'm going to transfer some of this gravy into this pie. So uh, yeah, I'll get on with this and uh, I'll come back to you. Right, I've got a nice thick consistency in this gravy now to how I want it. So now this is where we start transferring it 
into this pie. Now what I'll do, then whatever's left, when it come round to doing the veggies and everything, I'll add again to the gravy with the vegetable water and um, make extra gravy if needed. Right, let me get on with this. See that going into that pie there? Let me just show you. Absolutely gorgeous. Right, that's the gravy into the pie with the meat. Next thing to do is just get this with a bit of uh, egg around the side so we can get the top to stick to the pie. So, uh, yeah, let me get on with this and I'll come back to you. Right, that's the uh, pie egg washed. And the next thing to do now is we're going to get this um, pastry straight on top. This is the puff pastry that I got. I've egg, egged the side, picked the old puff pastry up from Aldi's, 99 pence. Just stretch that over there. So, so I've egg washed the sides. So I'll get this pushed down. Right, I'm just going to trim off the sides now. Just, just trim that um, excess pastry off there. Like so. Right, that's laid across there. I'm just going to push this down basically with a fork already around the sides. That's probably the best way to do it. Right, leave this to me. Right, that's pushed around the front um, sides with the fork. Do an egg wash the top. I don't care if this thing looks pretty because that's all in the taste of it at the end of the day. And that's what's going to make it a good one. So the old uh, daughter and son in law is looking forward to this. Right, let me get on with this. Right, that's that egged. The thing to do now is to make a little slit in the top. Let the old steam out as such. And that'll do it. Right, I'm gonna get this in the oven now. Um, I reckon a good 45 minutes. Um, I'll let you good people know how long. Get this cooked up and then, um, yeah. I've got um, potatoes, mashed potatoes, nice run of uh, green runner greens, red cabbage, white cabbage, you name it, we got it. So uh, when this come out, you'll probably see the pie being cut and then uh, you'll sit on a plate. So I'll catch you in a bit. Right, here we are, the lovely steak pie in Mackerson. I don't know, it might be a bit smashed on the old plate, but um, obviously gave the daughter and son all the, the nice bits, but they, it's just, it's just broke up. But who cares? I'm really looking forward to this one. It smells amazing. The lovely bits of steak and beef. Absolutely smells amazing. Right, let me get you up here and uh, have a little look what's going on. Right. It's 
that. Well, that is so nice, that's ridiculous. It's a lovely cabbage, eh? Mmm. It's a nice cream mess. Mmm. Well, that meat, so I've cooked how I've done that, is so tender and that's ridiculous. Oh man. I don't care now if anyone comment and say, oh, you should have put this in, you should have put that in. They don't need anything. That is that good. That is crazy. Wow. That. I lost the word, sorry. Not because I cooked it or anything like that. I, I just pulled this recipe from um, one of my nan's old recipes. Anything she did different was um, used like um, like a corn flour to thicken the gravy. I used gravy grains. But that, that's amazing. That beef is so tender. All right. Another beef it was eleven ninety nine. Got to remember it's a bloody big big pie here as well. Got a family round, and um, we really bung five portions out, and I still got a massive lump there left in that soup. Yeah, well well worth it. Definitely, I can't knock that at all. Right, if you want a really nice beef steak pie done in Maitland. Follow that recipe. That is awesome. And I, I, I really mean that. The, the taste, the flavours coming through is brilliant. And it ain't good because I cooked it, as I say, because I don't brag off about what I do. I'm just telling you, that's bloody nice. And I followed my nan's old recipe on that. And again, I will say, I didn't um, put the thickener in with the corn flour and what she used to do. I just used gravy granules, but whatever. Whichever way it go. Beautiful. Right, comments below. Um, sort of thumbs up if you like this. Comments below. If you didn't subscribe yet, please consider doing so to help the channel. And I'll catch you lovely people in the next one. Thanks for watching. Enjoy if you do it. It's just bloody nice. Thanks.